In this video, I'm going to look at how you calculate the percentage abundance of an isotope from the relative atomic mass. So I'll use this question to explain how it's done. So we've got boron occurs as a mixture of two isotopes, B10 and B11. The relative atomic mass of boron is 10.80 calculate the percentage abundance of each isotope. So the way I think about it is I liken it to a tug of war. So in this case we've got two isotopes, 10 and 11. And if you think about it, if they were both pulling as hard as each other, then the relative atomic mass would be right in the middle at 10.5. So the fact that the the weighted main mass, the relative atomic mass is 10.8. That's telling us that the isotope 11 is pulling the average more than isotope 10. So what that means is isotope 11 must be more abundant than isotope 10. So now to bring the maths into play and actually calculate the percentage abundances, we need to think about the difference between these two isotopes. So we've got a difference of one. And what we need to do now is find out sort of how big the pull is of each isotope. So the way I do that is isotope 11 is pulling from here all the way from here to there. So the difference between these is one it's pulling with 0.8. So the B11 is pulling 0.8 of that one, and then to turn it into a percentage, multiply by 100. So that's obviously an 80% abundance of that isotope. B10 is not pulling very much because it's only pulling away from there by 0.2 of the one difference times 100. And that's obviously 20%. So here's one for you to try. Chlorine occurs as a mixture of two isotopes, chlorine 35, chlorine 37. The relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.50. Calculate the percentage abundance of the chlorine 37 isotope. So if you want to have a go, pause the video and then play and I'll go through the answer. So again, I start with the number line and I've got my two isotopes on 35 and 37. This time we've got a difference of two. I put the relative atomic mass on the line so I can see which isotope it's sitting closest to. So we can establish which is the most abundant. And obviously the 35 is the more abundant isotope. So we need to work out the abundance, percentage abundance of this one with the smallest pull. So obviously the 35 pull is all of that coming from here to there, whereas the 37 is pulling away from this 35 just by this little amount here. So for the chlorine 37, we've got that pull of 0.5 of the difference of 2 times 100. So that comes out of the 25% abundance. And obviously if you were asked to calculate the chlorine 35 abundance, it would be this 1.5 divided by the difference of 2 multiplied by 100, which will obviously be the remaining percent, which would be 